Hi there guys, quick video to show you the opening up of this Alfheim 11 hub and uh, the journey therein. Um, I had some indexing problems probably within the first three months of installing this from new um, and they've gradually got worse over the last three and a half years or so of riding it and to the point where they're becoming a bit frustrating, slip gears, that sort of thing, which is annoying. So here we go, try to fix it. So I'm just going to uh, try and open up this uh, Alfin 11 hub. I changed the oil in it a few months ago and it hasn't been quite right since. So I think perhaps I overfilled it because the uh, little hole where the oil comes in and out is so small and the oil is quite gloopy. And uh, I think there's probably some left in there when I redid the oil, maybe perhaps pushing it in with the syringe provided forced a seal or something like that. I don't know anyway. So I'm going to open it up, have a look inside, refill it with some random oil. If it doesn't work, then uh, I'm just going to revert to my old Gralia system because I think it's one for um, lack of maintenance and hopeful long-term reliability. And it hasn't really done that at all. There's the tiny little drain hole just there if you can see it. I've put a wee bit of washing up liquid on here just to get some of this grime off so we don't introduce any unnecessary bits and bobs into the gearing when it's open. So I've just got a scrubbing brush and some water and a bit of soap. I'm going to clean that up, dry it off and uh, we'll have another look when we're back on the workbench. Right, so that's all dried off now and relatively clean. And now I've got one of these uh, spanners here, which I bought on eBay. It's a TA TL hyphen AF10. Can you see that on there? Is it going to focus? Yeah. Spanner. Looks like a genuine Shimano one. I would have probably bought a knockoff one if I could find one. So looks like that fits in those little plasticky tabs there. So I'm going to have to be careful to not uh, damage those when I'm trying to open this up. And when we're inside, I'm guessing I will find that there is hardly any oil in there because I had quite a large leak the other day. It uh, dribbled out. You can see on the back of this uh, guard plate here well, that um, there's quite a lot of oil on the back of there. <coughs> the guard plate sits on this over this join here so if that's a seal of some sort then in there then perhaps that's where the leak's coming from but uh yeah there's about 50 mil of oil in there or 25 mil one of the two and the other day i had a leak and it all ran out onto the chain and then it went along the chain went all over my trousers and my shoes uh, and uh, I had to throw the boots away actually. They were nearly had it anyway. But anyway, it's a bit annoying. Uh, now the shifting doesn't work properly. It gets, it's very, very crunchy and goes into slip gear in a lot of the middle gears. Uh, and the only two gears that work reliably without slipping are the lowest and the highest, uh, which isn't too bad being I live in Devon. And uh, generally I'm cycling up a hill or whizzing down one. But even so, um, I want to get it sorted out because uh, I figure if you're mashing away on the pedals and uh, the gears are slipping then you're obviously uh, going to end up damaging the gearing inside. So let's open it up and have a look what's going on. So in order to uh, get the working internals out you have to uh, undo the uh, pop ring. I don't know if this is um, these are cup and cone on this side bearings but anyway you have to take the locking washer off the top using cone spanner um, and um, then you'll be able to take the cone out now interesting I noticed that this was loose and I was just turning myself off because when I took the wheel off the bike I noticed that the um, the wheel nut on this side was loose as well so I'm thinking to myself, well, that's pretty sloppy. But being this, these, this was loose in here as well. Is is something else going on? 
Does it, is it somehow working loose as you cycle along? I suppose, or did I not do the wheel nut up and that's caused that to come loose? I don't know. Anyway, this isn't looking good for my uh, mechanicking credentials, is it? Anyway, we'll carry on and, and see what happens. So that is some sort of cone, as you can see, covered in oil. I'll put that there where it's relatively clean. Uh, so should have really degreased or cleaned this properly before I started. Anyway, the die is cast now. So if I slot that out carefully, I might then be able to clean this hub with some degreaser and uh, get it ready to put back together for another day. But this is definitely turning into a longer job than I thought. So we've just taken the internals out and it's like there's no oil left in, in the hub. In fact, there's barely enough to even coat the sides of the hub body. Um, this is the internal here and internals and there's hardly any oil that's come out of there. So it looks like the problem could have been lack of oil. Uh, I have read on some forums that um, uh, that the bearing adjustment can, if the bearings are misadjusted or you've got loose bearings, then it can affect the indexing. Um, but anyway, well see about what we're going to do to clean this up now. I'm not sure about disassembling this any further. I might try and wash it out as is with some degreaser and then uh, reassemble it all after I've cleaned. It's definitely a tricky job though isn't it? All right so I've got some degreaser here so I filled up a pot which I found which is about the right size and uh, I guess a yoghurt pot might be quite good, if you've got one. And uh, I'm just giving the thing a twiddle around in here. Try and get the oil out. And you can see that it's getting the oil out. I might go and get some gloves and actually try and work the uh, mechanism a bit. Must be doing a better job of cleaning this and um, just putting squirting in 25 millilitres of oil and then taking in. It's a shame, I've been using Shimano Dreyers for years and they all seem to make perfect sense the way they work and everything. This doesn't seem very well thought out to me. I mean, the drain hole was too small in the in the hub shell. And um, I suppose in a car, don't you? You don't, you don't generally flush the engine, do you? You just put the fresh, drain the old oil, put the new oil in. But I reckon a, a good mechanic would, would flush it, would they? Or not? I know my dad always used to talk about that. Anyway. I reckon that's probably quite clean now, but like I said, I'll get some gloves because I don't want to get that bloody degrease all over me. And uh, it's water based, so I think you've got to rinse it in water afterwards. And then I have to leave it to dry for a while before I can put it all back together, which is probably a job for tomorrow, I should think. Anyway. seal to keep the oil in. I mean this thing's full of oil, or meant to be. When I say full, it's meant to have a small amount in the bottom and that's got to keep all keeping it all in. Which doesn't seem very comprehensive to me. I mean what what if I put the bike in the car on its side, is it all gonna run out? Because it 
came out before, so chances are it'll come out again, which is all a bit disappointing to be honest. On the other side, you've got this uh, bearing cup, the, the bearings run on that little uh, chamfered edge there, and then the wider part towards the bottom between the between the cone and that sort of uh, dust dust flange that's basically pokes through a rubber seal a rubber o-ring and that's the seal on the non-drive side so that doesn't seem particularly good either not saying i can do it better but i i just can't see this um behaving very well in the long term with seals like that anyway let's chuck it all back together i'm going to try and put some oil in while i've got it open um, how that's going to get inside, I don't know. Might put the bottom, put this back in, and then I've got a syringe set, which I'll screw in, and I think I'll put the oil in whilst I've got the dust, top dust cap off, because while I was doing it last time, it's very hard to push the oil in, I think perhaps because it's sort of airtight inside, so as you're trying to force more, force oil into the hub, what you're doing is forcing there's nowhere for the air to go maybe mm. it was very difficult when i changed the oil the normal way with the syringe so, so now i've had a chance to look at this the only thing keeping the oil in as far as i can see just this rubber seal here and that's it and from what I can see if you put this on here it's not such an amazing fit around that unless I'm missing something thread maybe yeah first thread so that's back on which is something that screwed on properly it does look like it's a tighter fit but it's still not a lot of stuff to it's not a lot of not very right, i hope there's no one left watching this because i'm just leading you astray i think anyway uh i've got the refill kit which i used last time and uh i'm gonna try and put this oil in through the side with the cap off to stop any pressure building up. Right. It's going in like a lot easier than when I did it with the dust cap on last time. Oh, oh god, oh god. Yeah, I think I was rushing that a bit then and it started to slurp out. Squirt. Yeah, okay, great. So hopefully you heard the noises at least. So we'll take that off now, put it all back together, see how it goes. Oh, by the way, I'm using Briggs and Stratton lawnmower oil just for a complete and utter shambles of a repair job. Anyway, hopefully some somebody will get some comedy value out of this. So uh, a few words on whether it actually works or not. Uh, the shifting is smoother, it's snappier, so the oil in there obviously helps. Uh, I also checked over all the um, uh, levers and, and cabling just to make sure that was all free running, which it was. 
So, uh, but the problem is still there, to be honest with you. Still got the slip gears, still got the crunching. So, uh, hasn't really fixed it. So, I'm wondering perhaps whether something is bent or the bearings misadjusted. But I, they don't seem loose when you try to move them. So, I don't know. It hasn't worked.